going to read you a story. It may be quite long, so the video might take a while to upload. So you may be waiting for quite a while for this video to be on YouTube. Today I'm reading you Horrid Henry's Rainy Day, which is really funny when he writes his will. <laughs> Horrid Henry was bored. Horrid Henry was fed up. He'd been banned from the computer for raid rampaging through our town museum. He'd been banned from watching TV just because he was caught watching a teeny tiny bit extra after he'd been told to switch it off straight after moving back. Could he help it if an exciting new series about a rebel robot had started right after? <laughs> How would he know if it were any good unless he watched some of it? It was completely unfair and all Peter's fault for telling on him. And Mum and Dad were the meanest, most horrible weapons in the world. <laughs> and now he was stuck indoors all day long with absolutely nothing to do. <laughs> the rain splattered down. The house was grey. The world was grey. <laughs> the universe was grey. <laughs> the galaxy was grey. <laughs> I'm bored, wailed Horrid Henry. Read a book, said Mum. Do your homework, said Dad. No, said Horrid Henry. Then tidy your room, said Mum. Unload the dishwasher, said Dad. Empty the bin, said Mum. No way! Shrieked Horrid Henry. What was he, a slave? <laughs> Better keep out of his parents' way, or that they come up with even more horrible things for him to do. Horrid Henry stomped up to his boring bedroom and slammed the door. Ugh! He hated all his toys. <laughs> he hated all his music. He hated all his games. Ugh! <laughs> what could he do? Aha! He could always ch he's, he's check to see what Peter was up to. The perfect Peter was sitting in his room arranging stamps in his stamp album. Peter is a baby, Peter is a baby, said Horrid Henry. Sorry, I farted. <laughs> Horrid Henry, sticking his head around the door. <laughs> Don't call me baby, said Perfect Peter. <laughs> okay, Chica Poop, said Horrid Henry. Don't call me Jack, Chica Peter. Okay, Poop School, said Henry. <laughs> Mum, well, Peter, Henry got from Poop School. Don't be Horrid Henry, <laughs> shouted Mum. Stop calling your brother name. <laughs> Horrid Henry smiled sweetly at Peter. <laughs> okay, Peter. Okay, um, okay, Peter. Because I'm so nice, I'll let you make a list of ten names that you don't want to be called. <laughs> said Henry, and it will only cost you one pound. What? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect Peter could not believe his ears. <laughs> Perfect. Peter would not. Peter would pay much more than that. Never to be caught poop skull again. Is this a trick, Kim? Re said Peter. It is a trick. <laughs> no, said Henry. How dare you? I make you a good offer and you accuse me. Well, just for that. Wait, said Peter. I accept. He handed Henry a pound coin. <laughs> At last, all those horrid names will be banned. Henry would never call him Duke of Poop again. <laughs> Peter got out a piece of paper and pencil. <laughs> now let's see what to put on your list for Peter. <laughs> Poop school for a start. And I hate being called baby, nappy face. And Duke of Poop. <laughs> Peter wrote and wrote and wrote. <laughs> okay, Henry, here's the list for Peter. <laughs> Names I don't want to be called. One, Poop school. Two, Duke of Poop. Three, Ugly. Four, Nappy Face. Five, Baby. Six, Toad. Seven, Smelly Toad. Eight, Oak. 
nine, one, and ten. Wibble pants. Wibble pants. <laughs> I'm terribly scandalous. Fine, bold pants, <laughs> said Henry. Sorry, I meant poopy pants. Or was it smelly nappy, baby? <laughs> Mum! Well, Peter, Henry's got me names. Henry! Screamed Mum. For the last time, can't you leave dog for that alive? I wish Henry considered. Could, could he leave that worm alone? Peter is a frog, Peter is a frog. Jammed Henry. Mum! Screamed Peter. <laughs> That's it, Henry. Shouted Mum. No pocket money for a week. Go to your room and stay there. Fine! Shrieked Henry. You won't be sorry when I'm dead. <laughs> he stormed down the hall and slammed his bedroom door as hard as he could. Why were his parents so mean and horrible? He was hardly bothering Peter at all. <laughs> Peter was a frog. <laughs> Henry was only telling the truth. Boy, would they be sorry when he died bored and was <laughs> died of boredom stuck up here. <laughs> if only we'd let him watch a little extra TV. <laughs> Mum would wail. Would that have been so terrible? <laughs> if only we hadn't made him do, do any chores. Dad would sob. <laughs> Why didn't I let Henry call me names? Peter would howl. After all, I do have some pants. <laughs> and now it's too late and we're so sorry. <laughs> then we'd shriek. But wait, would they be sorry? <laughs> Peter could, would grab his room and his best toys. <laughs> his arch enemy, stuck up Steve, could come out and snatch anything he wanted. <laughs> Even his skeleton bag and goo shoot up. Peter could invade the purple hand fort <laughs> and Henry couldn't stop him. <laughs> Moody Margaret could hop over the wall and nick his flag <laughs> and his biscuits and his dungeon drink kit, even his super soaker. Super soaker. <laughs> no! Hard Henry went pale. <laughs> that stopped those drapicious feet from how. I could come back and haunt them. <laughs> Fought old Jim. Yes! That'll, that'll teach those great frogs not to mess with me. Oh, you get out of my room, you hot old. He would moan now. He would moan at Peter. <laughs> touch my goose shooter, and you'll be morphed into a lactoplasm. <laughs> He'd grown spookily from underneath the cuts of his bed. <laughs> Ha! Oh, that would show him. <laughs> or he'd pop out from inside Moody Margaret's wardrobe. <laughs> Give Henry's toys back, you miserable snimey snake. <laughs> he would rasp. Down to eat during a thing or two. <laughs> Henry smiled. <laughs> but as fun it would be to haunt people, he'd run, stop. Horrible enemy snatching his stuff in the first place. And then, and suddenly, Horrid Henry has a brilliant, spectacular idea. <laughs> Hasn't Mum told him just the other day that people wrote wills <laughs> to say who wanted to get all their stuff when they die? Hor Henry had been thrilled. <laughs> so when you die, I get all your money. <laughs> Henry beamed. Wow, the house will be his. <laughs> and the car, and he'd be boss of the TV. Because it would be his too. And the only shame was, can't you just give it all to me now, Art? Was Henry. Henry! Snap, Mum. Don't be bothered. There was no time to lose. He had to write a will immediately. <laughs> Old Henry sat down at his desk and grabbed some paper. <laughs> War my will, warning. Do not read unless I am dead. I mean it. 
If you're reading this, it's because I'm dead and you aren't. I wish you were dead and I wasn't. <laughs> so I could have all your stuff. It's not fair. It's so not fair. <laughs> First of all, to anyone thinking of snatching my stuff just because I'm dead, beware. Anyone who doesn't do what I say will get taunted by a bloodless and boneless doll, namely me. So there. <laughs> now the hard bit. Fort, horrid Henry. Who should get his things? Was anyone deserving that? <laughs> Peter, you are a worm and a toad. And an ugly baby nappy face. These smelly ugly wibble, wibble, wibble pants poops call. I leave you. <laughs> hmm. That toad shouldn't really get anything, but Peter was his brother after all. <laughs> I leave you my sweet wrappers and a muddy twig. <laughs> Sweet rubbers and a muddy twig. <laughs> that was more than Peter deserved. Still, Steve, you are stuck up and the world and horrible and the world's worst cousin. <laughs> you can have a pair of my socks. You can choose the blue ones, ones with the holes or the falling down orange ones. Margaret, you nicked face. I give you the purple hand flag to remember me, to remember me, remember me by not. <laughs> you can have two radishes and the knife from the top top head. <laughs> and keep your paws off my grizzly grub box or else. <laughs> Miss Battleax, you are my worst teacher ever. <laughs> I leave you a broken pencil. <laughs> Aunt Ruby, you can have the lime green cardigan back that you gave me for Christmas. <laughs> hmm, so far he wasn't doing so well, giving away any of his good things. <laughs> Ralph, you can have my goose shooter, but only... If you give me your football and your bike and your computer game, slam goals. <laughs> That's more like it. After all, why should he be the only one writing a will? <laughs> it was certainly a lot more fun mm, thinking about getting stuff from other people than giving away his own treasures. <laughs> In fact, wouldn't he be better off Helping, helping others by telling them what he wanted. Wouldn't it be awful if Aunt Ruby let, left him some of Steve's old clothes in her will, thinking that he would be delighted? Better write to her at once. <laughs> Dear Aunt Ruby, I'm leaving you something really, re really, really great. in my will, so make sure you leave me loads of cash in yours. <laughs> Your favourite nephew, Henry. 